Hello and welcome to another episode of Nothing Definitive. My name is Sam Carlson and today we're going to be talking about a specific consequence to multiverse and simulation theory. Okay, so I suppose we'll start with uh, some explanations of what those are. So multiverse theory, at least for this video broadcast, is we're going to assume that it is the, like, an infinite amount of universes that are sprouting up outside of our own universe um, that will continue sprouting up for ever and ever and ever. Um, and basically the idea is that at some point this universe, atom for atom, the same timeline, everything, will eventually play out again just due to probability. And simulation theory is the idea that um, at some point uh, a universe itself or maybe even just the human experience could be simulated in a highly advanced computer system and uh, um, and that the you know everything we perceive in the universe and all that is just is just a computer program and and then the assumption there is that um, if it was you know feasible or affordable in the future um, lots and lots of people would run these simulations and thus every universe would eventually play out over time um, or at least that's the assumption we're making maybe with simulation theory there'd be you know that wouldn't happen just because they're they actually live in the real universe which is finite and there's only one universe so they could only run a certain amount of simulations but for the assumption we're making here um, it's going to be that uh, an infinite amount of universes whether simulated or not will play out and all possibilities will duplicate at some point okay so if you take a moment to just think about that, what you begin to realize is that if universes duplicate, then eventually, atom for atom, literally the exact same things that have happened in this universe and the same things that will happen in the future are, are, have already happened and will happen again. And what this, what this should make you think about is that it's kind of like... And I mean, it's, there's important questions you should ask, like, if I'm going to basically come back to life in another universe, because it will be exactly the same, what does that mean for me? Like, what does that mean about the things that I'm doing? Because cause the problem is, is that you might think like, well... I would be different because I would make different decisions, but you really wouldn't. We're, we're, we're talking about a perfect duplicate, which, you know, in terms of probability would happen at some point. And, and if, they, if this has been going on for an infinite amount of time, you know, beyond what we can even comprehend, we're most likely not even the first universe. You've already lived maybe one time, maybe five times, maybe millions of times before in these other universes that, that came before this one. And you will continue living on this same life over and over and over again in future universes, okay? Um, so the questions that you should start asking is, what am I doing with my life? I mean, if I'm just going to do this again and again and again, what's the, you know, what's the point? If I'm, if I'm unhappy or I'm suffering, why, why bother? Why, why should I continue to put up with it? if it's just going to loop. Um, so let's take an example, let's take this, yeah, an example for a moment. Let's say you choose to live an ordinary life, and it's not a bad life, it's not a great life, um, but it's good, it's fine. You know, you, you get a job, you, you, you went to school, you got, you got your degree, you get a job, um, you, you know, it's, it's an okay job, you like it sometimes, you don't other days, it can tend to be kind of boring, but you make decent money, and in the future, you, you know, you can retire um, after you, you know, have enough money to pay for your kids' schooling and all the things that you want to buy, but eventually you can retire, and eventually you're an old person, and you start to think, man, what is this life situation all about? You know, I haven't, I've spent my whole life working and stuff, I haven't had a chance to really actually think about who I am and what it means to exist and all that. Um, but you kind of, you know, you think about it a little bit, but eventually you just, it's kind of depressing to think about all the different possibilities and there doesn't seem to be any answers, but you take comfort in the fact that, you know, you're religious, so you'll go to heaven or you're atheist and you'll just be dead and gone and whatever. But now let's think, what if that's not the case? What if this ordinary life where you didn't really do anything super interesting or crazy or, you know, you, you didn't get rich and famous or whatever, all these dreams that you had, they didn't come to fruition. 
what if that's just gonna loop over and over and over again, forever and ever? That kind of sucks, right? I mean, you had an opportunity here to do something crazy, do something just that made you happy. You didn't go after all those things that you, you know, you kind of wish you would have. But now, you've lived your entire life from birth to death, and that's the timeline that you'll forever live, because it's going to duplicate again. Now, of course, you might think, well, there's other universes with alternate timelines, like in another universe I'll be, I'll be rich and famous, and then in another universe I'll be, um, I'll be a secret agent badass or something like that. Well, that's true, but guess what? That's not really you. That's actually a different person. It might seem to be you. It might have some of the core personalities that were formed in your childhood. But that's actually a different person. You are only ever who you are based on the current set of neurons that are firing in your brain. That's really all that's you. So that person in that alternate timeline, that's not you living that life. It is a different person that's very similar to you. So this this brings on a whole bunch of different questions. And this is... um. This is like I was laying in the laying in my bed at, in the middle of the night and I just was like, I have to write this down right now. It just seemed really profound. So I leapt out of bed and I started writing and I'm like, if this is true, this is crazy. I mean, this means that you should literally, literally spend every moment of your life from this point on doing whatever you can to make it as badass as possible. Don't miss any opportunities because it's just going to happen again. You're going to miss it again. What's the point? For, and it applies to even really tiny things. For example, I was reading a news article, and I was about halfway through the article, and I was like, why am I reading this? I'm not learning anything from it. It's not making me happy or anything like that. I'm just reading it because it was like on the news listing. Um, so I stopped reading it because I'm like, screw it. This is, this is a waste of my time. There's something better that I could be doing. Another example, I was walking across the street and a lot of people will drive their cars right over the crosswalks because they're in a hurry and they, they won't move their car or they sometimes they will back up or whatever. Well, this respectful driver, you know, stopped at the crosswalk and I, and I was really deep in thought thinking about this exact topic. And when I got to the other side of the street, I didn't acknowledge him or anything. I just kept walking. I took a few more steps and all of a sudden I realized... That, that was a missed opportunity. I could have acknowledged him and, you know, wordlessly waved and smiled and basically said thank you for being respectful to pedestrians, but I didn't. And, and this realization made me go, I'm going to loop that again in the, in the next universe. And I didn't, I didn't make the best of it. I didn't spread positivity, you know. I didn't make, his, you know, make him feel better for doing that. Um, so it applies not only in the grand scheme, like what am I doing with my life, but even on the smallest level. And it's kind of a real, it's just an interesting thought to consider. Um, another consequence to it is that if you, if you think about it and you can own, like I said, how you can like not be, you're not going to be that, um, other life that other person who goes off and be's, it becomes a celebrity or secret agent or something, you are only ever who you are in this timeline right now, right? So that means that unless we're the very first iteration, the very first universe of this specific timeline, all your decisions from birth to death have already been made. Because if you're not the first universe, you're just playing out the decisions of the, the that original timeline. Um, so that can be kind of a hard pill to swallow, I guess, because it basically means that your life's predetermined and you're not actually making choices. Of course, does that really matter because it's novel and unique to you and you, and it appears or it even feels like you have free will. Um, you know, like you can hear me talking about this and go, well, now that I know this, couldn't I make my own decisions? Well, no, because in the other universe previously, I did already tell you this and you made the decisions. So now you're just kind of playing it out. Um, so that's kind of one negative like consequence of this thinking, um, but it's still really interesting to consider. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to share today. I, I literally leapt out of bed excited to write this down because I was like, wow, this is, this is really bizarre, you know, like, what if this is true? They, I mean, there seemed to be a lot of support for simulation theory and multiverse because, um, well, like for simulation, it's, it's because if it's possible to do simulation theory, then the chance that we're in a simulated universe is like one to infinity, right? There's a infinite amount of chances that we are though not, we are a simulated universe and there's only one real universe. So that's, you know, there's, that's pretty convincing argument if simulation theory is accurate, you know? 
Um, so I don't know, just something to consider. Think about it. Um, don't just brush it off because if it if it's true, you might want to consider how that will impact your life and make some changes. Um, and I think it makes changes for the better, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for listening as always. Please consider uh, subscribing above, and uh, see you next time.